Hello, everybody. Today I have two exciting stories about Camp Candy and the Camp Candy campers. Watch these, and I'll be back after the show. There are two things to keep in mind when you return a serve. Remember where you bought it and bring your receipt. <laughs> Wrong. Keep your eye on the ball and step up to meet it like this. It was a game of one-on-one -on -one basketball between Alex and Rick. Okay, Rick, try and stop me this time. Make your move, Alex. It looked like Rick was just the slightest bit overmatched. <laughs> like David and Goliath. Oh, we are children who won the basketball game. Was there ever any doubt? I beat him 86 zip. But it was a close 86 zip. Just wait till I get my new basketball sneakers for Christmas. Oh boy, I like Christmas. Me too, Binky. I remember last Christmas, six months ago. Those were the good old days. Yeah. Isn't it a shame we won't all be together at Christmas time? That gave me an idea. Hey, hold on, everybody. We can be together at Christmas. We can? By turning Camp Candy into a winter wonderland right now! You mean have our very own Christmas in the middle of July? Why not? You'll never pull it off. To have Christmas, you need snow and reindeer and yuletide carols. And presents. Let's not forget about presents. Kids, we can do anything we want if we just use our imaginations. Yeah! Get it, you all It'll be fun! <laughs> Christmas in July? How childish. Binky and I decided to trim the tree. He even made his own paper snowflakes. We were really caught up in the holiday spirit. <laughs> That's not the only thing you were caught up in. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, you. Jingle all the way. Are you okay, John? Me? <laughs> sure, Binky. I'm just practicing climbing down the chimney. <laughs> Robin was carving some Christmas animals to put under the tree. Meanwhile, Rick was using the air conditioner to turn the swimming pool into a skating rink. <laughs> Freezing a swimming pool with an air conditioner? Give me a break. Hey, would I kid a kid? <laughs> oh, John, <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> What's up there, Smalley? Uh-oh, <laughs> mistletoe. <laughs> and I'm standing right under it. <laughs> Doesn't it remind you of something you'd like to do? It certainly does. Oh, um... Mm. There. We don't want it falling on you. <laughs> oh, some people just have to be hit over the head. Oh. oh! We had to have snow, so Alex figured whipped cream would be the perfect substitute. Mmm! The chef always gets to lick the ball. We finally finished. The place looked like something right out of a Christmas card. It's great, but there's one thing missing. Frost on the windows. No problemo. I know just where to find some. Rick was so anxious to get those windows frosted, he did something he shouldn't have. He made off with Vanessa's hair mousse. Oh, so many clothes, so little time. Looks like he was more into the spirit of taking than giving. You were right, Robin. Those frosted windows add just the right touch. Yeah, now we're really ready for Christmas Eve. We dug around in the Camp Candy Lost and Found until everyone had a wintry piece of clothing to wear. Some of it should have stayed lost. I forgot how itchy these things are. The campers were now ready for Christmas. What, no snowshoes? Oh, oh glad you reminded me. At last, the big moment had arrived. It was time to plug in our Christmas lights. Ooh! Ah! It's Christmas at Camp Candy. It's Christmas at Camp Candy. We love celebrating Christmas on the 4th of July. Stop! Nobody move! All right, who's the sneak thief? 
snake thief. Someone took my hair, Moose, and I want it back right now. Hey, easy. We use it to frost the windows. Well, I'm the one who's frosted. Vanessa, we're only trying to have a little fun. Come on, join us. By having Christmas in July? Oh, you're all acting like a bunch of children. Well, we are a bunch of children. Oh, Vanessa, this package just arrived for you. I'll take it. Hey, what gives? I thought you weren't into Christmas in July. I'm not, but I am into getting presents any month of the year. It's a box of chocolates. Chocolates, wow. I love chocolate. Oh, oh, can I have a piece? Can I Sorry. These are all mine, and no one's going to have any but me. Mm. Mm. I think Vanessa has Christmas mixed up with Halloween. She's acting like a real witch. She's also gobbling up all the chocolates. <laughs> Get it, Iggy? Goblin? <laughs> I wasn't about to let Vanessa's attitude dampen our holiday spirits. Come on, kids, let's all go skating. Yeah! You sure you don't want to come along, Vanessa? No possible way. All right, it's up to you. I don't believe it. Is it Christmas already? Where does the time go? Yeah, I know I should be hibernating, but uh, I'm not the least bit sleepy. You think you've got troubles? I don't even remember when they're starting. And I'm supposed to predict when it ends? Meanwhile, Vanessa still refused to join in the fun. She preferred to be by herself and eat her chocolates. Can you blame her? They're cream-filled. And suddenly, the most amazing thing happened. Don't stop now! Try me! I'm real chewy! Yikes! You're not! I'm even chewier with a delicious caramel center! Come on! Finish us both! You don't want to leave any candy for someone else, do ya? Come on! Open your mouth! No! I don't believe I'm seeing this! Oh! All of a sudden, I feel so weak! Vanessa had fallen fast asleep. When she woke up, she found some weird, mysterious changes had taken place. Uh, how did I get here? What is this place? It looks like my cabin, but it can't be. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, mind you. Uh, come in. Good morning, Princess Vanessa. Princess Vanessa? Why, of course, Princess Vanessa. I brought you eggs, Benedict. Imported strawberries and cream, and hot cocoa, your highness. I hope it's to your liking. Oh, her highness is delighted. Vanessa could hardly believe it. Her lifelong princess fantasy had finally come true. Interruptions, always interruptions. Unfortunately, you couldn't say the same for the other campers. Er, uh, um, your majesty? Majesty, have I been demoted? Sorry, I meant your highness. That's more like it. Now, what is it? The Calvin St. Halston just arrived from Paris. Would you care to try on a few of them? Oh, I suppose so. Mm, I was afraid of that. <laughs> Vanessa had us transform the main lodge into a royal throne room. Not only that, we were forced to entertain her, too. You call that entertainment? Give the kids a break, will you? They never studied at the Royal Academy of Clowning Around. Enough! Ooh, ow. Ooh. I believe I'm in the mood to receive gifts. Oh, Princess Vanessa, we're sorry you didn't care for the new pony and the water ski boat, but we're certain you'll really like this present. Ooh. Ah. A ruby and emerald ring, but I distinctly asked for diamonds. But your highness, we spent our entire year's wages on it. Sounds like Princess Vanessa was becoming a royal pain. It gets worse. After giving us the royal boot, 
Princess Vanessa settled in for some heavy-duty TV viewing. Hello! This is your host, Robbie Screech, with Blake Styles of the Rich and Snooty. Today, we'll visit the majestic mountain retreat of Princess Vanessa. Oh, my favorite program. Yo, Vanessa! Say, what's going on? I am on every channel. Oh, big gap, my TV. And that's a royal command. She allows you that. I am the ultra cool spirit of last month. And you can't do me out. Last month? But I hate reruns. Hey, what, what, what are you doing? I think it's time you scoped out a few things. The spirit of last month decided to show Vanessa how things were before she became a princess. Where are you taking me? You'll see. I remember that day. Right, the big canoe race. Why, that's us. On your march. Get set. Roll. Last one to reach the shore is a turkey. I resent that remark. Turkeys happen to be highly intelligent creatures. Oh, brother. Keep paddling there, Smalley. We're pulling ahead. Oh, oh, John, this is so exciting. We might actually win. You said a mouthful. <laughs> Had enough? <laughs> we had a lot of fun that day, didn't we? No oh, big deal. Cats are supposed to be fun. Can I return to my palace now? What's the rush? I've got a lot more fun stuff to show you. I said I wish to return. Now! If you insist, your Madge, hang on. We now return you to our regular program. Uh, what? Well, this is Robbie Screech inviting you to join me next week on another Lifestyles of the Rich and Snooty. I, I must have dozed off. Suddenly, Princess Vanessa had another visitor. Uh, looks like two visitors to me. Okay, let's say a visitor and a half. Yes, what do you two peasants want? Look, we don't want to be here any more than you do, but it's our assignment. Assignment? What assignment? We're the spirits of this month. Oh, the word spirit always gives me the creeps. What exactly do you want? We've come to show you how things really are in your high and mighty kingdom. Another boring sightseeing tour? I refuse to go. Sorry, spirits don't rule even princesses. Let's buckle up, shall we? Well, what are you doing? How dare you? I only fly first class. I demand that you put me down this instant. Not until you've seen a few things. That depressing place below us is the former Camp Candy. Camp Candy? But it couldn't be. It's been that way ever since Princess Vanessa took over. But it's so cold and unfriendly. Just like you, Princess Vanessa. And look what's happened to the poor campers. Too slowly. It'll make it seem like much more. One miserable marshmallow for all of them? Uh, you were upset about last month's food bill and decided to cut back on expenses. Wait, children, haven't we forgotten to give thanks to Princess Vanessa? Yes, Nurse Molly, rub a dub dub, thanks for the grub. Oh, rats, they always forget my platinum finger bowl. Oh, no, not again. Can't she ever leave us alone? All right, all right. Well, whose turn is it to wait on Princess Vanessa? Not mine. I just painted her toenails. I fluffed her pillows. I peeled her grapes. <sighs> well, I'm afraid someone has to go. Never mind, kids. I'll do it. Miss Molly, I hate this place. I want to go home. Me too. It used to be so much fun. <sighs> I'm afraid that's not possible, children. This is your home. Forever. Forever? Never ordered anyone around like that. Oh no. Ah! Take a look at this. I hope to spend all day.
day polishing those shoes. My sheets need to be fluffed. Yes, your highness. And you! I want every strand of that rug exactly the same length. Yes, your highness. Hey! There's a thumbprint on my TV. Someone get a rag and clean it. Yes, your highness. <laughs> no more! I've seen enough. I want things back to the way they were. <laughs> Are you sure, your highness? Yes, yes, please, please, please! <laughs> Princess Vanessa was finally starting to see how selfish she'd been. I'm kind of a slow learner, isn't she? Please, stop! Make everything the way it was. Why, it is the way it was. It was all a terrible nightmare. Oh, I'm so deliriously happy. Oh, but I do miss that 12,000-inch TV set. Just look at me. I'm a total mess. My eyes are red and puffy from all that crying. Oh, but at least the worst is over. I'm afraid not, my dear. The worst is just beginning. Oh, Nurse Molly? I'm not Nurse Molly. I'm the spirit of next month. And you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> See what you've caused? Well, where is everyone? What happened to Camp Candy? It's gone, thanks to you. To Forest Estates. No children allowed. You mean Rex DeForest the Third now owns Camp Candy? I keep telling you there is no Camp Candy. Oh no! That ducky water could be what I think it is. That's right, Lake Cacciatore. This can't be. John would never let this happen. He didn't let it happen. You did. Me? You threw John out, remember? I don't want to see any more of this. Or you either. As you wish, Princess Vanessa. Wait! Where are you going? You forgot to change everything back to the way it was. Sorry! Too late! You're on your own now, dear! Ta-ta! Case the rock along! Wow! Now with the spirit of next month gone, Vanessa was completely alone. Uh, you might say she lost her spirit. I'll do the jokes if you don't mind. Oh, dear. What am I going to do now? Haven't you got nowhere, young lady? It's Scram. Rex DeForest III? That's Mr. DeForest III to you, and you're on my land. Hey, but this isn't land, boss. It's cement. Shut up, you flea brain, and start moving her stuff out. Time is money. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, then you owe me a heck of a lot of time. You, be careful with my lamp. She's right, Chester. You must handle it with care. We might get a few bucks for it. I suppose you're going to take this out of my salary. Would you rather I took it out of your hide? Given a choice? No. As for you, take a royal hike. We're about to tear down this cabin to make room for my corporate headquarters. Tear down my castle? I mean my cabin? Yeah, here's the last thing, boss. No, not my vanity table. How will I ever survive? Whoa! Oh, no. <laughs> my life is over. <laughs> hmm, a little symbolism there. Shattered vanity, shattered life. I'm glad you caught that. I was afraid it might be too deep for your average cartoon viewer. Vanessa? Vanessa? Vanessa, come on, wake up! <laughs> huh? Where am I? You're in Camp Candy. What did you think, you were in Kansas? But it's still here, and it's still Christmas in July! Oh, big Alex! Of course we're still here. Our parents peed for an entire season. Oh, and Nurse Molly, you're not a spirit after all. Oh, <laughs> a spirit? Well... <laughs> 
Oh, poor dear, you've been out in the sun too long. I'm perfectly well. In fact, I never felt better in all my life. Thank heaven. They're not talking anymore. Huh? Oh, Rick, I've been so selfish. Here, I want you to share these among yourselves. Oh, thanks a lot. There's only two of them left. Well, it's a thought that counts. Well, Vanessa had finally learned her lesson about the joys of sharing. Now that's what I call a real Christmas miracle. Speaking of miracles, it suddenly started to snow. Snow in the middle of summer? Well, maybe not real snow. But as Vanessa said, it's the thought that counts. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry Christmas! <laughs> All right, John! I'm ready for that Christmas cake! <laughs> Maybe we better not. I, I think I'm coming down with a, uh, uh, oh, a summer cold. Yeah, summer. I can hear it in my head. I just all stuff you. I don't want you to catch it. Oh, now, John, where's your spirit of sharing? Oh, all right. Have you ever wondered how different plants scatter their seeds? They can't move around like animals or people. Nature has taken care of everything with something called seed dispersal. Most plants produce many seeds so that at least some of them will land on suitable ground. There are several different ways seeds are dispersed in search of that suitable soil. One is wind. Think of a maple tree on a windy day or the last time you picked a dandelion and blew away the seeds. In windy conditions, these seeds can be carried far away from the plant that produced them. The next time you go for a walk on an overgrown path in late summer, check your socks and pant legs for burrs, which are seeds sticking to your clothes by means of hooks and spines. When you knock them off outside, you've helped the plant move its seeds to a different area. Nice work. Keep it up and I'll see you next time. <laughs>